Hey everybody, this is one of my quick review videos, and if you're confused as to what this is, what you're watching, and why it's not a full reaction slash review analysis video, make sure to click the first link in the video description below or the annotation up above my head, and that should answer all your questions about this new series. Alright, let's talk about Sayonara Hitori by Taemin. It's a Japanese language release, so I can't do a full reaction slash review to it because it would inevitably get blocked. But, of course, I can still comment on it, so that's what I'm going to do in this video. I think this song is just an absolutely brilliant masterpiece. I hope that a Korean language version with music video will also get released through the normal channels so it won't be restricted so much like the Japanese releases always are, because I think this is just an amazing song that will really elevate his career, especially in Korea, if everyone can hear it and enjoy it. This song is just a dynamics roller coaster. You know, they start very withdrawn, kind of introspective, and it just builds to this massive, epic electronic instrumental interlude. And then having the song in four, and then right at that point going into that sort of slow 6 8 triplet time, it's just incredible, epic stuff. You know, and then they reel it back in again for the second verse, but they change things up and give it a lot of excitement, a lot of interest, and then it builds into that even even more epic second chorus where they don't go into the 6-8 time, they keep it in 4 and it's kind of like an implied triplet feel or almost kind of a really slow swing feel which was a nice touch. And the singing's great, the performance is great, the music video is just as epic as the song is and the production on this is absolutely mind blowing. It's one of those songs that just makes whatever speakers you're listening to come alive and really bring out their best characteristics because it's mixed and mastered so well. It's just one of the biggest, most huge productions I've heard in a long time on any speakers I listen to it on. I would just classify this entire song and release and everything going along with it as just an epic triumph for Tae Min. He's really showing that as a solo artist he can do things that aren't really shiny like. You know, this is more like along the lines of something TVXQ would do than shiny, but at the same time it's very just Tae Min sounding. And he's demonstrated now multiple times that he can pull off pretty amazing epic stuff as a solo artist as well as being a really um, integral and crucial member of Shiny. So again, hopefully the song won't get buried like a lot of the Japanese language releases do, and whether it's this version or a Korean language version or even an English version, I just think that this song and him performing it is an amazing accomplishment for his career. So anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments section. Do you like this song more than his previous two Korean releases, or do you like the overall style and concept of those better? Thanks so much for watching this quick review. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you could share this video all over the place. Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, forums, all that stuff really helps me out, and I'll see you guys next time.